We're now going to take a look at ArcGIS as a complete system for spatial analysis, data science, and AI. ArcGIS comes with analytical methods and spatial algorithms to uncover hidden patterns, predict, and help you make the right decisions, applying scientific methodologies within familiar data science workflows and patterns. ArcGIS also comes with spatial machine learning and deep learning AI models, help you solve complex problems. Today, we'll share an overview of each of these aspects. Let's look at how it's designed. Solving spatial problems invariably starts with your data, which then flows through analytic engines. You run specific spatial analysis algorithms in an efficient manner. And then we have suitable experiences to find your answers quickly to help you make the right data-driven decisions. Data is at the center of everything that we do to drive better understanding and decision making. In recent years, we've seen an explosion of data collection from IoT sensors to satellites to location-enabled devices. As users, you're integrating every type of data and format, which are then made available as ready-to-use services in the form of web maps and layers and 3D web scenes, even real-time feeds, representations of data as layers for visualization and analysis. This is bringing together the world's information in a very systematic manner, from data collection to data management, to applying the right patterns for secure data access via web services, optimized for different kinds of uses, and designed for collaboration. ArcGIS has the right tools and frameworks. They're tuned for your enterprise data workflow needs. Example, you can use mobile apps, like ArcGIS field maps, or fly drones to collect data and then process them within drone to map or site scan. You can use ArcGIS Pro to model the world and its infrastructures, like utility networks, roads, parcels, and buildings. ArcGIS comes with built-in connectivity to a wide range of your data stores, tools to help you prepare your data and provide the right level of access through feature layer views, for example. And then there's data that's optimized for further visualization and analysis. This aspect is key to delivering analysis-ready data. Now, once your data is prepared and ready for analysis, pro, enterprise, and online have purpose-built analytic engines. Example, we have raster analysis engines to run your deep learning models for object detection and classification. Similarly, Spark-based analysis or big vector and tabular data. Both are examples of distributed processing necessary for fast computations on massive data sets. You can then customize them by deploying your own models or custom geoprocessing functions within these engines. We built analytic experiences that are native. You could use Pro as a powerful and rich desktop experience, or web-based interactive experiences for users and analysts, or use notebooks, a very familiar experience for data scientists. We also have ArcPy and the ArcGIS API for Python, powerful APIs for developers to script and automate analytic workflows. These analytic workflows can be experienced within ArcGIS and beyond in an open and integrated manner. ArcGIS comes ready for open science with built-in support for open libraries and frameworks. For example, recently we added support for GeoPandas and JupyterLab. We also have integrations with R and SAS as you'll see later today. To increase productivity, we built a framework for you to bring your data science methodologies to ArcGIS wherein we amplify the right tools, the experiences, and workflows so you can stay focused on solving your complex problems. Here you see the core capabilities that you might access within your data science workflows. Now let's get started by looking into a couple of analytic engines that are available to you. This one for big data analytics. Geoanalytics works on large vector and tabular data, often analyzing across time and space. It runs parallelized on the desktop using all the processing power available as you see here to get your answers quicker. And on the server, it can additionally distribute the analysis designed for bigger data sets and timely answers. Here, you have a listing of all the analytic methods that are available, including recent additions like trace proximity events and find dwell locations that some of you have asked for. Geoanalytic servers can sit alongside your data, wherever it might be. After all, we're talking about big data. Your input sources can be traditional GIS data, access as layers or services, or directly from external big data, cloud, and file stores. Once analyzed, you can have your results back in these cloud or file stores, or ready-to-use feature layers hosted within ArcGIS. 
To show us the power of geoanalytics, I'd like to introduce Bethany. Over to you, Bethany. Thank you, Jay. Wakes are water disturbances produced by high-speed ocean traffic. These disturbances can increase shoreline erosion and result in the loss of property or critical habitat. I want to uncover areas that are potentially in need of restoration or mitigation. For this analysis, I've downloaded one month of ocean vessel traffic data from Marine Cadaster and stored it on my desktop. Large data sets are often stored as a collection of files. Here I have 31 files that each contain around 6 million records. Each record contains the point location and timestamp of the observation, along with the vessel ID. The Geoanalytics Desktop Toolbox in ArcGIS Pro makes it easy to connect to your large data sets using big data connections. A big data connection can represent multiple files as a single data set. The Create Big Data Connection tool automatically detects the time and location fields in my CSVs. This means I'm connecting to my data from ArcGIS Pro and enabling location and time on it in one step. This data set represents 31 files. Using my big data connection, I'll analyze them all at once, just like any other feature layer in ArcGIS Pro. The first step in my analysis is enhancing my data with movement statistics. Using the Geoanalytics tool Calculate Motion Statistics, I've calculated for speed and acceleration. I'm using these results to capture changes in vessel movement using the tool Reconstruct Tracks. Reconstruct Tracks ties together time-enabled features using a common identifier, like a vessel ID. The tool also enables you to split those tracks using arcade expressions. This is a powerful way to transform and understand your data on the fly. I split my tracks at locations where the change in track speed from one point to the next is greater than two nautical miles per hour. I've symbolized my results to visualize vessels approaching and exceeding a speed of eight knots. For example, near Florida and the Bahamas, we can identify problematic nearshore traffic. With this insight, we can monitor vessel movement and implement speed limits to reduce the negative impacts of wakes. Additionally, I can automate this workflow using ArcPy Geoprocessing in Notebooks for ArcGIS Pro. This is just one example of how Geoanalytics accelerates your data preparation and analysis workflows. You can complete this workflow locally by parallelizing analysis on your personal machine using the Geoanalytics desktop toolbox, or in a distributed environment using ArcGIS Enterprise with Geoanalytics Server.